Welcome back everyone. Here today in this video, we'll be testing out the latest version of WinLotter Molly. We all know this version is designed for non-Snapdragon users like if you are using MediaTek, Exynos, or any other universal devices. All right, so this is the WinLater Molly version 1.5. They added non-benchmark version. Also, they added CNC DRAW. Also, one more thing. In the same recent update of 4.1, they made a lot of changes, fixed some stable wine versions, bugs, they updated all game presets. They also added DirectX 2010 library. That's pretty good and improved performance. All right, go to assets. Here I'll go with the non-benchmark version. Simply download and install the package. Now open when later. Allow permission. Go to settings. Set box 86 and 64 to default. Also set both presets to compatibility. Save the settings. Add container. Set screen resolution to 800 and to 600 or below. The graphics driver and DX wrapper are same as usual. Set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS. On wine configuration, all these are same as usual. Set max video memory. Go to advanced. Set startup selection to aggressive. This version of WinLater Mali is actually pretty stable. Like you won't face any black screen issues unless if you set it to lowest graphic settings. All right, now boot the container system. First of all, go to start. Make sure to check out if the Direct3D is working or not. Well, if it's blank, try to restart the container again. Now go to wine configuration. Set version to Windows 7 or lower for old DirectX titles. In this update, they added couple of new game presets. Like if you have any game startup issues, you can try these preset fixes. Now go to install extras. Install these packages. DirectX 2010 libraries, NVIDIA PhysX driver, OpenAL, and also Visual C++ package too. These are very important. Or you can simply use the recommended settings mentioned by developer. Now restart the container again. All right, now let's check out the GPU caps viewer. As you can see, the VirGL is updated to OpenGL 3.1. On a basic wine adapter, this OpenGL version comes with 162 extensions. Let's check out whether if the GL3 is actually working or no. Hell no. Nah, it's not. I mean, the GL2 works as usual without any issues. It means you can actually game DirectX 9 titles pretty well on this. As I mentioned, the Veer GL only works like an old basic Windows graphics adapter, or if you remember the old Intel GMA integrated adapters in Pentium era. So again, don't accept more. Like I'm getting a lot of comments to test Cyberpunk, GTA 5, or Wukong. <laughs> I mean, it's all right, like... All right, guys, let's test out some titles at max level of settings at 800 by 600 resolution. Hey, how's it going? I'm Rachel, Samantha's friend. I heard your plane finally got in. Well, welcome to Bayview. The GTA San Andreas of PC version is actually pretty good on this when you compare it with mobile version. The textures, details, and the quality, everything. Anyways, that's all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe for more content. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.